So you saw the thumbnail and yes, that is a display behind the back of a device. This is the Nubia Z20. It's got two displays, not side by side, but one's in front and we flip it around. There's another display at the back. Now you're going with it. How is this sensible? Well, I'm going to show you how you can actually use it for gaming. Now, the idea of this device, at least from my understanding is, hey, you want to take selfies, you can use your rear camera, which is a better camera to take uh, photos because you've got a 5.1 inch display at the back. It's an AMOLED display, 2340 by 1080. It's a nice looking display. Again, you can use that to take your selfies and all that stuff. So that's cool, but we care about games. So what can we do with a device like this? Well, it packs a lot in terms of specs. The Snapdragon 855 Plus, eight gigs of RAM, up to, it's the max, uh, 128 gigabytes of storage, 4,000 milliamp battery as well in there. And you've got a 27 watt charger. So you've got a lot that you need for gaming. Plus there's the game space, which we found on the Red Magic 3. So a lot of those features are found in this display. Now the front display is no slouch either. It is 6.3 inches. Uh, it's a, a lovely AMOLED display, thin bezels. You can see it all around. It's curved display, uh, 2340 by 1080p. You're looking at that Joker wallpaper. It's it's in the links below, so you guys can go ahead and download it. But you can toggle between both displays. So while you're gaming, you can game with the rear display if you say want to save some battery life, and then switch over to the front display. But when you switch, it goes into a save mode, uh, save state. So you have to go to multitask to basically jump back into your gameplay, but it takes about a second or so. So it's something you can do. Now, how does it feel to game on the smaller 5.1 inch display? Let's take a look. So that was pretty interesting. I'd say the rear display works fine, really smooth, no issues at all. I like it for controls and I think um, it works. Now, again, it, I, I think if you want to use it to save battery life, that might make sense. But the better thing you can do with the rear display is actually remap your buttons to the back. Now, in game space, you can go in there and remap buttons. And uh, what you do here is you select the main display, you set your L and R triggers, wherever you want, for whatever button schemes. Then you move to the secondary display and then you set the zones at the back. So you have the areas that your fingers will be tapping at the back of your display. I mean, back on the secondary display. And then you start gaming, it's that simple. Now, how does it feel? Well, let's jump in. I would say it worked out pretty well. It takes a lot getting used to, especially having a different type of grip where your hands are like this and you're tapping and you're still moving with the front, uh, with the front display. So it takes some getting used to, but I think it's a nice intuitive way to use a secondary display on this device. There's also, uh, you can also set it up and whenever you fire a game, it actually switches to that mode as well. So that's something you can do. In terms of temperatures, it did about 37 degrees Celsius. So that I think is in line with every other device. 
and I like it. It's priced about $520. Um, it's not, you know, super expensive. And it also packs like $855 plus. So that is actually interesting and good to see. So let me know what you think. Do you think this actually makes sense? Gaming with uh, double-sided foam? You know, if it makes sense to you, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.